Hi, really quick one today. I'm going to show you how to bake an end cloth simulation into keyframes inside of Maya. You can see here that I've got a simulation and I've got my keyframes baked on the timeline on my plane and my sphere. I'm going to create a plane and a sphere and I'm going to scale up the plane move up the sphere turn them both into an end cloth we're going to effects men menu set over to end cloth create end cloth I will then select the vertices down the side of the plane go up to end constraint down to transform constraint we'll then set the end cloth rigidity on the sphere to one I will make sure that my menu in my settings and preferences that my time slider is set to play every frame and not 24 by 1 and then my max playback speed is 24 by 1 okay and now if I select both of my sphere and my plane change my menu set to animation go to key down to bake simulation options and if we check on control points and then hit bake now we have some keyframes and if we delete the nucleus and the end cloth and the dynamic constraint you'll see that we have duplicates here and to get rid of the duplicates, you need to go to display, shapes, and then drop down the plane and the sphere. And you'll notice that you've got the original meshes in here, which you can delete now. And now if you select both the plane and the sphere, and group those together, you should now see that you move your group anywhere in your scene and select You've got your keyframes all in here playing back and it's baked into the timeline okay thanks for watching